I must say it's a real privilege to be here. Millions from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. I'm Derek Ray. My co-commentator is, as always, Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building up very nicely, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Barcelona taking on Real Madrid. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central strike will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. And this is it, the final of the UEFA Champions League. It's where everyone wants to be. Only two sides can accomplish that feat. And Lee, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight. Well, it is. It's the big part here. It will be after the game. But as players, it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away. And that's the job of the senior players in the dressing room, but also the coach. Look around your team, see the calm ones, have a word with them, get them to pass the message on, stick to the game plan, go out and win the game. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane at the back. Luka Modric plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. Thierry Henry. And it's with Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. Oh, in with a chance. A goal for Barcelona. The Blaugrana out in front in the Champions League final. So how important will that be for Barcelona to get their noses in front? That remains to be seen. Well, it is good play. You might question the defending, but I prefer to be positive. Really good build-up and an easy finish. A chance to revisit the goal. Vinicius. This could square the game. Oh, can you believe this? Just when it looked as though the door was locked, it's been reopened. Well, they're back in it, and you can hear the relief with their fans. Game on. Well, in this replay, you're going to see a 2v1 against the keeper. How does that happen? He'll be asking his defence why he was left exposed. Nothing he could do. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And that's incisive play from Thierry Henry. And with that, they take the lead. Well, just look at the celebrations, Derek. The fans are starting to believe it's theirs. Well, here's the replay. And it's a lovely, quick counter-attack that sets up the chance. And when you get that close to the keeper, you need to do something special. And he delivers. Absolutely brilliant. Lovely dink. Ronaldinho. Eto. Ronaldinho. A glorious chance. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here it is, a striker's bread and butter, simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. Let's have another view of that goal.
and played in with haste. A deft clearance. 15 minutes remaining. Promising sequence. Can he put it in? A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job! Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key, and a 2v1 is never fair. To be honest with you, the keeper's got no chance to stop this. It's lovely football. And he takes it away. Figo, he's in here, and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick, absolutely unplayable today, what a performance! Well, here's the replay, you have to say he's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match, it's a good finish and a richly deserved hat-trick. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room, if it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. And now the wait is over. Barcelona have done it. The Champions League trophy will return to Catalonia. Well, magnificent end to a long, long, hard season. Eventually, they've got their rewards and fully, fully justified. Well, for one team, it's a story of celebration. For the other, bitter disappointment. But the Barca players will remember this night for the rest of their lives. And as a player, Lee, as a Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well, it is. You have expectations at the start of the season, all those long, hard training sessions in pre-season. You kind of need a goal to get through that pain. And focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League. And they've got to savour this. It's not every night this comes along. Well, probably will be here next year, you never know <laughs> the way they play, but fully deserved, and they'll have uh, celebrations right throughout the night with their families and friends. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. The ticker tape's coming down, the family's in the stand, giving them all a wave. Well, they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. Well, it took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Well, they've come together in this competition as a team and they're celebrating together now, fully deserved. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe. 